Hey guys, welcome to Escape the Indoors. My name's Josh. I've had a few people notice that I wear my fanny pack on my chest and have asked me how I do it. So stick around and I'll show you. So I first got on board the fanny pack train when I started recording my trips. I needed to carry and have quick access to my camera, power bank, cables, all sorts of stuff that I wouldn't normally carry. A fanny pack seemed like the logical solution. So I ordered a light AF fanny pack and I used that on the first trip I recorded in the White Mountains. I'm also trying this, uh, this new fanny belt, which is all the rave right now. I have mixed opinions on it. On that trip, I realized that the fanny pack just wasn't working for me. It wasn't terrible, it's just going up some of the steep rocks and steep inclines and the whites. It was kind of getting annoying, getting in the way. So, I needed to come up with a different solution. I don't know why, but I really like having access to stuff right here, like my water bottles, uh, my phone, so I looked around, looked online, I couldn't find any kind of commercial uh, sternum strap pocket, chest pocket, that wasn't a whole big system. I wanted something kind of small, lightweight, couldn't really find anything. So on the Northville Placid Trail through hike, I found a way to put the Light AF fanny pack on my chest, which worked great. I did end up switching to a Z-Pax front utility pack, just because it's a little more deep and it's easier to get the camera in and out. All right, doing this is really simple. So to start out, you have your fanny pack and you put it on just as you would if you were wearing it normally. However, you leave a little bit of slack. And then you put your pack on and then you take your loosely attached fanny pack and you kind of bring it up like that. Take your sternum strap, make sure you have a good amount of slack. Pull the fanny pack with your right hand like this and then attach your sternum strap. Super simple. And then tighten. And that's pretty much it for a basic chest pouch. This by itself will work for a lot of people if you're not carrying much, if it's just your phone and a few snacks. However, if you start hiking faster or you're carrying more weight, this will start flopping around and it's kind of annoying. So to add a little bit more support, you need something pulling up on the chest pack. Most fanny packs will have an extra loop on the side here. So I took an s beaner that I got from a keychain, and I took one side off to make it look like a little hook, attached it to this loop, and then from dutchware.com, I ordered some line locks and also some reflectic cord. I tied a loop on one side, then a couple of knots on the other side so it doesn't slide through, leaving a little bit of a pull tab. I cut them a little bit more than a foot. So for the Kumo, it's got these D-rings right here that you can attach these line lock hooks right there like that. And on the other side, and then all you do is attach your s beaner to the loop and you can tighten it with the cord locks. And that stays really, really tight. Occasionally, it'll come loose and you have to kind of pull back up on it. But for the most part, it's been working great. And that way I can keep my camera accessible and waterproof when it starts raining right here. And then I can also put my phone right here, which is super convenient. So this way I have my camera gear, my phone, some snacks, my water, all right here. I do have the hip belt still because the hip belts with this pack are pretty minimal, um, but still have hip belt pockets and still really comfortable. So the only thing you have to keep in mind is that it takes a little bit more time to put the pack on. And also when taking it off, you are still attached. So that's why you want a simple loop and hook system that you can undo pretty quickly. 
And the other benefit to this is that you still do have a fanny pack that when you're at camp or you're in town, you can put your stuff in, walk around. I walk around camp with my camera stuff, so I still have access when I need it. So it's actually a great system. I thought the strap going around was going to be annoying, but it's really not as long as you keep it loose so you can breathe. Also, certain fanny packs like the Light AF one have the buckles on the sides. It didn't bother me, but it might fit you different. So that's another reason why the Z-Pax one is helpful because it's got the buckles right in the center here, which if you're using it as a fanny pack, you could attach your actual hip belt directly to the fanny pack, which is a pretty cool idea. If you don't have a Kumo 36, you just want to look for any kind of rigging point on your straps. On the Ohm, I just take the S-beaners and I attach it right to the D-rings that are right next to where the S-beaners are. It works okay. It's better to have some kind of adjustable suspension system. So I think I covered it all. I'll put links to the stuff you need down in the comments section below. If you guys found this information useful, please hit that like button. I hope you guys find time to get outside and escape the indoors. Thanks.